Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Rue. How do you do? I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of video today. Um, I don't know where this idea came from, but I decided that I would go through some of my old photography and, like, show it to you and, <laughs> I don't know, tell the story, ramble about it, whatever, while I tap on various objects. Um, I don't know, it, I thought it would be fun and give me something to talk about while we tap on things. <laughs> so, um, if you didn't know, I'm pretty into photography. I've been into photography, um, since I was old enough to buy a camera. I don't know, like 13 maybe? I don't know. Um, but, so basically yesterday I went through my external hard drive where all of my photos are. There are thousands and thousands of photos. <laughs> like, I have so many photos and I don't delete any of them. Like, even the bad ones. Because it's like a moment in time. I don't know, I feel weird deleting photos that I've taken. So, there's a lot of pictures. <laughs> um, and these are not like my best pictures I've ever taken. I kind of just clicked on folders throughout the years and chose random pictures to talk about. So like, these are not like my highlight reel, you know, these are just random photos. <laughs> but anyways, I should probably get started because I have quite a few, but um, we're going in like chronological order. So I'll tell you what year and stuff as we do it. And hopefully I'll remember to switch trackers. <laughs> so let me pull up my photos real quick. <laughs> okay. So this first one, <laughs> is um, my horse. So the main reason I wanted to take photos when I was younger was to take photos of my horse and other people's horses because that was the, the big um, love interest of my life. Uh -huh. So this is a photo of my horse rolling in the field. Um, you know, very photogenic. <laughs> and then the horse behind him um, his name is Jolly. Um, my horse's name is Sarge. Um, but his, his bud was Jolly, and I actually also half leased that horse, so I rode him a lot too. He was a really good boy. Um, but yeah, so that's my horse rolling, rolling in the field. And I, I remember when I got this photo, I was like, I thought it was hilarious. Like, <laughs> he looks like he's like playing dead or something. But, you know, he was just rolling around in the field. <laughs> But yeah, so this was taken in June of 2008, so I don't even, how old was I? Like 16, 15 or 16, <laughs> so, but yeah, there you go, that's my horse. <laughs> Second one is from July of 2008, so not far off. This was my cat, her name was Bear. Um, she was the weirdest little cat. We found her in a parking lot. Like, her mom had abandoned her. Um, so we decided to take her home. And she was, like, still... Like, she wasn't fully weaned, so she had to be bottle fed. And she was just, like, the weirdest little cat, I guess, because she didn't have her mom, like, throughout all of her kittenhood. <laughs> so she was, like... She would, um, uh, she would, like, suck on blankets a lot and, like, carry things around the house and, like, scream <laughs> while she was doing it. She was this cute little kitty. Um, but yeah, her name is Bear. She's very cute. <laughs> Let me switch triggers. We'll do some wood tapping. Um, <laughs> okay, so this next photo was December of 2009, so I was still in high school. <laughs> um, this was the horse farm that I rode at, um, spent a majority of my time here. Um, this was a particularly decent snowstorm we had, and this was a day that I was working. Um, I would often work on snow days because I could get there, I guess, maybe. Also, I wanted to. <laughs> I just liked being there. Um, so this was like a day... I think we went there early. So that I could just 
play in the snow with my horse, you know? Um, and uh, so I took a bunch of photos of the snow at the farm, and it was really pretty. We haven't got any snow this year. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was pretty deep, too. But yeah, snow day at the farm. Um, I think there's a train in the background, but hopefully you can't hear it, because we take forever to go by. Um, <laughs> this next photo, I did block out the person's face, because, you know, I don't want to show their face on the internet, but this was like what I use my camera for a majority of the times was to take like action photos of um, us riding horses. So this was someone I rode with at my barn and this little horse was named Maverick. Um, I got, I did ride him a few times. He was a fun little guy. Um, this was the park that I took you guys to um, on my outdoor ASMR video. So this was a day when they were out jumping the courses and I think okay this was October of 2010 so my horse wasn't at the barn at this time because I had graduated high school and I can't remember like maybe we couldn't afford to board him there or something I can't exactly remember but he wasn't there but they had a horse show so I went because I wanted to watch um and I took photos of them so yeah, this is uh, what I really liked doing with my camera. I like taking horse action photos. Um, and I loved when other people took photos of me and my horse. So, yeah. <laughs> this was March 2011. This was the Indianapolis Zoo. Um, so, when I... Okay, so... <laughs> after I graduated high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and I ended up getting this idea in my head that I wanted to do this internship in Indiana. Um, so I did, like I went through with it, and I was there for one month, <laughs> and uh, it didn't work out for me. Um, I mean, I was so young, I was like, I guess, how old was I, 18 or 19, probably 19 really young, never been away from home, <laughs> like, so I ended up deciding to come home, and this was, um, my mom, my brother, and my partner came to pick me up, this was, like, when we first started dating, <laughs> so, he was so chill about all this, um, but anyways, when they picked me up, we decided to go sort of see the sights. Um, so we went to the Indianapolis Zoo, and this was like a, I guess like a sea lion show we went to, but like, how cute is it? I love going to the zoos and taking photos. <laughs> this was November of 2012. Um, it was one of the beach trips I went on with my family. I was like, so, I loved taking photos of seagulls at the beach because there's just so many, and they're like used to people, so it's, it's like easy to get a pretty decent photo of them, so... <laughs> I have so many seagull photos from beach trips, like, and people probably think seagulls are boring, but like, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool, so, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is a seagull at the beach, pretty self-explanatory, alright, I switched to the avocado, <laughs> um, okay, this is a photo of my lovely, um, pupper, his name is Tucker, um, he's no longer with us anymore, but he was like my, um, childhood, you know, teenage dog. Um, and this was a snowstorm. Uh, it says this was December of 2014. Um, again, it was like a pretty substantial snowstorm. And I had gone out with the dogs, um, to play in the snow. It was, and we had like a little photo shoot, so... I just thought this photo was so cute. He has like his tongue out. He has snow on his nose. He was such a good boy. <laughs> I also love, he was like a hound. We thought he was like a hound mixed with a, um, like a lab. Cause he, he looks very lab like. Um, <laughs> but I love that he looked like a lab, but he was like red. But his, his brother, my sister and his brother, and he looked much more like a hound, like a coon hound. <laughs> but Tucker got more of the lab 
looks, but he was a, he was a good pupper. All right, this photo was March of 2015. So in 2015, I did a internship um, on a big racehorse farm, <laughs> um, and I lived on the farm. I worked on the farm. I was helping um, with followings, like bringing baby horses into the world. But it was like this really immersive program where they were trying to get people to, you know, like work in the racing industry or whatever, which isn't really my thing, but it was like a really, really good experience. So, um, the house I lived on, on the farm, was next to this field of yearling, which are year old horses. Um, so this was like one evening when the sunset was pretty, so I went out and took photos of them. They all had their little heads over the fence. It was so cute. It was a gorgeous farm, like, and huge, 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 huge. Like, it took me weeks to, like, figure out where everything was. It was insane. Um, so, took a lot of photos of the horses there. But yeah. Alright, so this was July of 2015 at another zoo, as you can tell. <laughs> um, this was the Oklahoma... I don't know what it's called. It was in Oklahoma. I don't even remember. What city was it? Was it Tulsa? Is that right? I don't know. It's been, obviously, quite a few years. Um, <laughs> but my friend at the time was living there, so I went to visit her. I drove there. Um, <laughs> it was like a... Oh gosh, how... 14 hour drive? Something like that? I did it by myself. I'm so proud of myself. Um, <laughs> anyways, we went to the zoo while we were there. And I took this photo of this giraffe, who we got to feed, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, I love going to the zoo and taking photos because it's like, I would never see these animals, like, in my real life, you know? So it's fun to get lots of photos of interesting animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was this little guy. Okay, this is July 2016. And my mom and I ordered, uh, did like a cross-country trip to my aunt's house in California. And we stopped at the Grand Canyon. And <laughs> do you like how I, I chose a photo of an animal instead of the Grand Canyon to show you guys? That's like who I am. Um, <laughs> so these were like, I, I don't know if he's a squirrel. I guess he's a squirrel. He doesn't look like our squirrels. But they were very, very used to people. Like people would feed them. And there were signs that say don't feed the squirrels. But you know, you know how people are. <laughs> But they were so cute. Like, look at him. I love him. <laughs> yeah, that was at the Grand Canyon. I take it, pictures of animals anywhere I go. <laughs> okay. These two um, are my my parents' cats they have now. This was taken in December of 2016, so there's one more cat. There's these two. These are the two girls, um, Alice and Cassie. I named them. And there's an orange boy cat named Ralphie, so these are the girls. Um, but we got, like, my mom got them when they were little itty bitty kitties. <laughs> itty bitty kitties. Um, so I helped, like, raise them. I was living, I was living there at the time, so. And they slept in my room, which I loved, obviously. So <laughs> this is just a photo of them. I just thought they were cute, and I wanted to show you guys. It was when they were like little, little guy, little, little kitties. Um, they're a lot bigger now. <laughs> this was July of 2017. This was, um, we went to California again. We flew there this time though. And this was the zoo there. <laughs> again, there's a theme here. Um, so it was the San Francisco Zoo. And they had a penguin uh, march, I want to say. Anyways, you like we like lined up along this little corridor, corridor and they let these little penguins walk. <laughs> and it was so cute. I loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so close to a penguin. So I took some photos. Aren't they adorable? I want to say they were like young penguins. I can't remember the reason they were doing it, but yeah, so cute. <laughs> okay, new trigger. Um, <laughs> okay, this photo. This was during the time period where my good Nikon was broken. It had broken. So I was taking photos with like a little crappy camera. Um, so the quality is not like super nice, but I wanted to show you guys this. This was February of 2018. 
and it was when I was living like on the shore, like near the beach, and this was like a swamp area. It was like a state park, so my partner came and visited me there, and we did this like little hike. I say hike in quotation marks because it was com it's completely flat. <laughs> so we, I think it was maybe six miles total, eight miles. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Anyways, at the end was this really pretty lake, and it was like so like reflective. It was like the sky was below you and above you. It was like, I don't think it looks as crazy in the photos it did in real life, but it was really, really cool. <laughs> like, um, so I guess the little hike was worth it. It was really hard on my body though, like walking on flat for that long because I'm used to like, you know, some changes in elevation, but yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, November of 2019 now. So this is where I live. Um, I don't know why, but I randomly decided like to drive along the parkway or something and take photos. Um, but I really like this photo because it has like different gradients of color and I just think it's really pretty. <laughs> we have our lovely Blue Ridge Mountains and the pretty like pine trees and some nice brown grasses. Like, it's just good, man. <laughs> this is why I like living here. So pretty. But yeah. Nothing really to say about this photo, but it's just pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is a selfie, so not really like a good photo that I took. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to include it because this was January of 2020. I think it was literally New Year's Day that I did this. <laughs> and the optimism, you guys, the optimism this person had. They didn't know what was coming. <laughs> But, um, so, New Year's Day on 2020, I decided I wanted to do a sunrise hike by myself because I had, I had the day off. And it was, like, maybe a Monday or something, Tuesday, I don't know. So I was, like, really ambitious and got up at the crack of dawn, you know, and, uh, climbed the mountain by myself. Was terrifying. <laughs> I didn't... Because this is a pretty well-trafficked hike, but like, obviously in the morning, in the dark, no one's there. Um, and I didn't realize how scary it would be to just be surrounded by dark climbing a mountain, which is like, Rue, obviously, that is a little scary, but like, I don't know, I just don't think about these things, but it was like, every little, like, tree that would creak and make a weird noise, I'd like, freak out. Um, but anyways, I got to the top, and it was, like, really pretty, so, like, I was glad I did it. It was freezing cold, and this guy was up there. <laughs> he was, like, the only other person, um, who had done this. He was, he came after I did, so, um, but he was, like, wearing shorts and, like, um, short sleeves, and he was, like, he said he did something where he made his body adjust to the cold, and so he didn't feel the cold anymore, and I was, like, Okay. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I got, he took like a really nice photo of me, um, with the view and the sunrise. So it was pretty cool. And then I hiked down and I think after that I like aggravated an injury as well. So. But I just thought this was kind of funny. I was like so optimistic about the new year, you know, 2020 is going to be a great year. Like <laughs> little did I know. Look, I mean, look, look, I look so happy and optimistic, like, <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> okay, I switched triggers. I just realized you can, like, see my little pile. Um, <laughs> anyways, so this photo was taken in March of 2020, which, you know, is when stuff started to go down. Um, it was, I want to say near the end of March, so it was, like, getting a little, you know, weird. Um, but this was during a, uh, race that my partner had signed up for. Um, and they, they hadn't done, they hadn't, this was like one of the last races where they didn't go virtual because like that was the thing in 2020 is like they did a bunch of virtual races because we couldn't get together. Um, so this was like the last race 
that he ever did in 2020 in person. And so I, I wasn't participating, but I wanted to go along just to like hike and whatever. Actually, I think it was virtual. Now that I'm thinking about it, but like a lot of people still did it on the same, on the day. I think, I think, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know if it was like official. Anyways, <laughs> so I went to like hike around and take photos. Um, and there were these cows by the road. So of course I had to take photos of the cows. <laughs> it was like a fun day for me. I just kind of hiked around and like I was still kind of injured at the time, so. I was just sort of like putzing, putzing around and taking photos and yeah, it was a fun day. A little cow. <laughs> okay, this is a chipmunk, obviously. <laughs> I just thought he was super, super cute. But the reason I got such a good photo of him is because our neighbor's cat was playing with this chipmunk outside and we're like, oh my gosh, stop, you're gonna kill it. So we chased the cat away. And, um, he was just, like, stunned on this pot. And just, like, not moving at all. So I, like, took a few photos of him. He did eventually, like, wake up and run away. So he was just, like, really stunned, I think. Poor little guy. But, like, how cute is he? I love chipmunks. Alright, these two. Um, June of 2020. So we're still in 2020. Um, <laughs> this was another virtual race <laughs> that my fiance did and um I again decided to go with him and hike around by myself and these two I came across and they were like so not scared of me <laughs> they just like stood there and watched me for a while obviously they're they're pretty young um so they maybe they were waiting around for their mom I don't really know but so 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 cute and look at their big ears <laughs> But they were just like very not scared of me. I mean, I don't, they probably don't see a lot of people out there because it's kind of not a super, super, super well trafficked trail. I mean, it is kind of, but like not like the mainstream hikes. Uh, so you probably don't see a ton of people. But like, they're so cute. Look at them. <laughs> All right, April 2021. This is a squirrel, obviously. <laughs> But this is like something that I like to do in my free time. I just go in my backyard and take photos of squirrels because they're like always around, you know? <laughs> so I would just like, because we have like this little forested area that kind of separates us from some other houses that are down the hill. And so critters like to go in there. Um, so I'll just go back there and like follow the squirrels around to take photos of them. So anyways, he's very cute. Got him like mid jump. But yeah, I've been feeding the squirrels like a lot recently. And um, um, I've gotten into videography, so I haven't taken a lot of photos, but I got a lot of squirrel videos. <laughs> Alright, look at this little guy. <laughs> this is May of 2022, so like not that long ago. Um, let me switch triggers. This is the last one I have, I think. Um, so this is a baby coon de goose. Um, we have this path that we walk a lot near our house, and there's these geese that are often there, and they're super, super used to people. And I know people are, like, scared of Canada geese, but these are, like, the chillest Canada geese, like, I've ever... Like, they're very, very used to people, so every spring they have babies. Um, and it's so fun for me because I can be very, very close to them and take these really nice photos of their babies. Um, and most of the moms are very chill. <laughs> like, the, every now and again, you get one that's nervous, you know? But, like, the ones that are chill, I just kind of sit on the ground and, like, take photos of the babies. And there's another spot where, um, a lot of ducks like to hang out. And so in the spring, there's a lot of baby ducks as well. And I just love taking photos of them. They're so cute. Like, look how fuzzy. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. August of 2022. This, oh gosh. I love these guys. So, the deer like to hang out in our yard. This is our backyard. And, um, so yeah, last summer, there were these two babies laying in our yard. Like, it happened more than once. But like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. 
but the other one was like further down um and there was a bug too there was a bug sleeping in the yard with him i was like that's so weird um but yeah i i love that like mom tears mama tears trust our yard enough to leave their babies in it and they're so cute i can't i can't and like there's a deer that's been coming lately and eating some of the food i'm leaving out and like um it's two deer and like you can tell like the one of them is was the baby you know she's like a younger deer um so they're like coming back to our yard and uh having snacks you know because i like to leave them snacks <laughs> but yeah oh isn't that is the cutest little baby isn't it oh and that is the last photo i have apparently okay wow i hope you enjoyed this little mm, story time rambly video with tapping <laughs> i enjoyed sharing with you guys and uh i could definitely do another one of these videos because like i said i have thousands and thousands and thousands of photos like um i could do like a highlights reel but i feel like that would be really hard because all of my favorite photos are like mixed in and i don't know what albums they're in <laughs> so that would be quite a process but yeah these are some of my photos a little story time tapping um but yeah thanks for hanging out today thanks for listening to me ramble and tap I hope you're doing well. Okay. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. You're doing great. <laughs>